everybody. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make another update video after today. I got my fourth round of chemo today and um, day one and then I'll get another dose <clears throat> tomorrow and Friday. And then um, the plan so far is that should be my last round of chemo um, because they basically have that um, targeted therapy which is um, really good because basically that means that it's a pill that I take and um, basically what that does is it targets the DNA of the tumor <clears throat> to prevent it from getting any bigger and um, there's also a possibility that it could shrink it as well so I'm just going to keep hoping and praying that it'll um, target my DNA and um, just shrink down the tumor um, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens so that's um, really good news because um, the medication the chemotherapy regimen that I'm on right now is um, two really strong medicines they're called doxyrubicin and cisplatin and um, they're really strong um, and uh, they really really uh, work really good but um, there's also like the potential for you know increased risks of side effects which I've been really lucky and I haven't really had very many side effects um, besides like losing my hair and um, maybe a little nausea <clears throat> but overall I've been doing really well with it and responding really well and uh, my PET scan showed that I um, it hasn't spread or anything and gotten worse which is great and um, it did say on the report that I read that um, there were some previous evidence uh, evidences of metastasis on my previous scan which means that there were some spreading of the cancer to other parts of my body um, in my pelvic region that showed up on the scan previously but the scan that I got Monday, um, this past Monday, it showed that they weren't on the scan. So it, that is really good news. Um, the, the one thing that's very confusing that the doctor was explaining to me today was that since it's in my bone, I guess you get like your bone re resorbs and then regenerates. It goes through like a cycle and um, it basically means that sometimes since that your bone is like resorbing and regenerating then um it's going at a different rate <clears throat> and that's how the pet scan is measured it measures of the growth rate of your cells so cancer cells grow faster than your normal cells but it can also be a possibility that your bone is healing and could be showing signs that it's um it looks like it might be cancerous, but there's also a possibility that it's just regenerating. So it's very confusing. Um, <clears throat> the analogy that she gave was like basically if you were to break your leg and then um, get a scan done right after you get your leg broken, then um, there's going to be so much activity and inflammation and like repair and growth showing in that area of your bone trying to repair itself and regrow that it could be the same thing as like showing up as cancer cells. I don't know. It was, it was kind of confusing. Um, I need to kind of go look into more some, more research on that um, just to kind of study that study up on that because I'm not super familiar with that. But it's just I feel like I was um, got a lot of information today and I'm happy with the fact that they do have options for me um, because um, they didn't want since they are using the really hardcore um, chemotherapy drugs that the pers the amount of drugs I guess you can only get a certain percentage or like you each person has a max dose of that type of the chemotherapy which I didn't realize until a couple weeks ago so it was kind of like you can't just keep getting it forever and ever and like let it you know go down or whatever um <clears throat> because like your body can't handle it and it actually attacks like your DNA um, is what the cardiologist told me so there's nothing really you can do about it if if it if 
it were to destroy my heart, which I know it's not going to because I know that God is protecting my heart and I know that, you know, that's just not going to happen. Um, but the research has said that, like, you know, that you if you get a certain amount and you go over the dose of, like, this 300 meter squared, then um, that means that it could be a potential to destroy the heart muscle and put be put into heart failure, failure. but <clears throat> I know that's not going to happen, and um, I know we could just, I know that all of our prayers have been answered and have are working, and it's just um, so powerful, all the prayers that have been being said and praying every day and Holy Spirit coming over me and other people, and um, <clears throat> I'm just, I just know that God is working um, his miracles, and um, like I said, it's always like, in his time and according to his will so um it just a lot of information today but um <clears throat> basically you know we just have all these options available to us and um it's really good to know um but they are going to review <clears throat> my tumor on tuber board next week and um talk about different options because I did ask about if we could do radiation therapy um because radiation therapy does target just that specific cancer portions um I'm not sure if we can do the chemo targeted chemotherapy <clears throat> um and radiation together but we're gonna find out because um I'm hoping and praying and I just I have a lot of confidence in this and it's it's just all very scary and to think about everything and all the options and especially when you kind of just know like the baseline of things and you don't know like every ins and outs of how they do things and um but basically um I'm just hoping and praying and I know that <clears throat> this next round of chemo like I got another fourth round so that just means that it's gonna prevent anything from growing and gonna kind of keep killing the cancer which is doing which is really great um and then um I'm hoping that like the and praying like the we could do chemo chemo or radiate do the radiation therapy to shrink down the tumor and hopefully like get rid of it take it out but um we're not really sure what's going on right now but I just want to keep praying and um I'm really just relying on God and I know that he works miracles every day and um everything's according to his plan and his will and um we don't really know what that is and sometimes um what he wants is <clears throat> it may be different than what we want, but we just have to trust in him and have faith. And I really wanted um, to read um, today, actually, my Bible verse of the day was, if you have the Bible app on your phone, you might have seen it. But it was Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. But I actually wanted to read the whole prayer that he um, prayed to the Ephesians, um, which starts on um, Ephesians three fourteen. Um, he basically says, I, re I kneel before my Father um, in heaven and on earth, and I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray to you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep the love of Christ is. And know this love surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and Jesus Christ throughout all generations forever and ever, amen. So basically what that is saying is that um, I've been praying a lot. Basically, it's kind of been helping answer my prayers. And throughout the Bible, there's so many different areas that say, you know, forget what you know of this world um, here on earth. And um, you may know things and have knowledge and wisdom of your own understanding and, and what we have discovered and, and um, what we know and have learned. But there's so much out there that we don't know and that we still are learning. That's why this type of cancer that I have is like so rare and there's not a lot of research on it. They've been actually comparing the drug that I'm at, gonna get to like breast cancer patients and testicular cancer patients and lung cancer patients. Um, and what I have is like 
I think clear cell sar sarcoma is like 3% of all, I don't know, I could be wrong on these numbers, but I think sarcoma is only like 3% of all cancers, and then like clear cell sarcoma is only like 1% or something, I don't know, but it's a really, really, really rare, um, so there's not a lot of research on that, um, so I really do think, I, I know I need to rely on God and have faith in Him, and um, basically we just need to not rely on our own understanding and knowledge, and we just need to pray for knowledge and wisdom in Jesus, and um, if we learn and um, pray for these things and we can um, obtain miraculous things through him and um, I've been receiving these things I think daily and um, for years and years and um, at least for about three or four years now I've been increasing my faith and um, knowledge and wisdom in Jesus and God and I've been gone to church my whole life and then I think for a while I kind of turned away from God and I knew I was always with him and he was always with me but I think um you know you go through phases in your life and you kind of think you know what you're doing and maybe it's just I would turned away from him or you know bad things happen and you don't instead of relying on him like I should have then I wasn't um so it's just you know you learn and then when I finally did start, like, more relying on him and um, reading the Bible more and um, seeking him out, then my happiness, like, went up through the roof and it was just, like, everything became, um, everything made sense and um, it made me feel like, wow, I was so stupid before, like, I could have just done this a long time ago and been fine, but instead I was, um, you know, pushing God away. And But anyways, um... It's just amazing what God can do, and um, there's so many little gems in the book of the in the in the Bible, and um, I just am reminded every day of how much he, His love and grace is um, for us, and how much He loves us and wants us to um, be happy. So um, I just encourage everyone to read um, Ephesians three. Um, I actually read the whole book of Ephesians. It's only um, six chapters. It's really short. Um, so it was, it was good to read that. Um, if you have time, it'll probably only take 10 minutes or so. Um, but anyways, I'm very, very happy and grateful, um, that I got some good news today. And, um, I'm hoping that, you know, the good news about the chemo is that, or the target of therapy is that, It'll be a pill, and I won't have to go in for infusions. And also, it will specifically just target my DNA or the DNA of the tumor, which means that I won't, it does not affect my blood counts. So, it will not deplete my red blood cells or my white blood cells. So, that means I can travel and try to like kind of live a normal life um, as much as possible. Um, and it it can cause nausea vomiting, but I'm gonna, I'm praying and hoping like that won't be the case for me. And I just know that God um, will provide and just keep praying. And um, you never know, I might, they might find a cure any day now. <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, I love you guys. And um, today, um, one of my friends, Jenny from work, brought me a basket, a gift basket from everybody from work. and. I'm just so thankful for that, and I thank you all, I thank everyone on the Heart Center for being so generous and caring and loving, and all my friends and my family, and I just love everybody and miss everybody, and um, hope everyone's doing well, and I'll keep everyone posted and updated. All right, have a great day.